Hello again. I'm back with uh, some stuff on uh, Mix 17. What happens if you don't like things inside the uh, box? If you don't like the plastic parts, of course you will um, try to get some uh, aftermarket uh, different editions. I know it's early days uh, with this kit, uh, but there are already a lot of things available uh, on the market or soon will be available. Uh, but there are some other parts uh, which have been available for uh, quite some time. Let's have a look at some of them. Um, there is one question which immediately arises when, uh, when you look at the decal sheet of the kit. You will see that there is something missing. What is it? It is the instrument panel. Uh, you don't get the instrument panel as a decal, unfortunately. You get, instead, uh, you are given uh, in the kit as an extra for the limited edition, uh, the Red Fox version of a 3D printed instrument panel and all the other bits and pieces that you need to, to have in the cockpit. But of course, uh, the same was uh, true from Edward. They made the instrument panel as a photo edge, giving it um, all the details. It is a pre-painted version and um, on it you have the instruments have a glazing uh, in comparison to previous uh, such parts. Uh, it is a bit uh, better and also there are some uh, Pass for for the side uh, panels and uh, some other bits and pieces. Edward did not uh, stick to just producing the photo edge. They also made a um, space version, which is uh, similar to Red Fox or the Quinta, where it is a 3D printed. decal sheet with uh, once again glazing and uh, it has all the extra surface details it is um, soft uh, in comparison to red fox red fox uses a resin which is a bit hard and uh, you should be careful with it uh, because it is brittle the Eduard one uh, is the softer version. It has bits and pieces for the cockpit. But once again, they didn't stop at just uh, making uh, 3D printed. They also made the look version, which is a, uh, a version where they have resin uh, made instrument panel and it is uh, later on painted with a special printer they have. Uh, the thing is uh, if you have a closer look uh, unfortunately uh, the instruments have a bit faint details so I'm not sure how much of this will be visible later on. We have the guns uh, in the kit, uh, which are a plastic uh, version, but uh, the Polish master produced uh, guns, uh, pitots, and all the other bits and pieces for the MiG-17 a long time ago. 
Uh, the thing is that uh, these parts are made specially uh, after, based on the actual guns, and they are not made for particular um, aircraft uh, aircraft kit. They are uh, exact copies of the of the real uh, gun barrels. Uh, they are turned brass uh, parts and uh, they provide a good replacement. Edward has also made um, produced some uh, 3D printed wheels for the MiG-17 for the ammo kit. They are uh, 3D printed but uh, they are resin cast in fact with details on both sides. I'm not sure if uh, this um, device should be there uh, for the MiG-17, but uh, if uh, you don't like it, uh, it is easy to cut it off. Uh, you have some uh, thread details on it, and it is weight uh, rubber, so there's a bit, bit of uh, weight added to it. The same goes for the nose wheel. It has some very nice details on it. Ammo also made uh, the main wheels for the for the kit. Uh, the one in the middle is the ammo uh, wheel. The one in front is the Eduard and the one in the back is the ammo resin version. Um, well, it, it is up to everyone's um, taste and um, what they like. Uh, I'm not sure about the ammo uh, resin version. Uh, the actual ammo plastic parts are quite nice. And the thing is that uh, they have a proper axle uh, and the axle on the kit has a, um, a flat surface uh, on it so uh, you will have a proper fit and the wheel will be at the right angle. Uh, the Eduard one has a circle just as the ammo uh, has a circle, so the fit into those uh, will not be uh, so perfect. But still, you can you are models, and as one of the bosses is always saying, models should solve if they find any problems with the uh, things produced by kit manufacturers. Ammo is giving also um, this set of extra bits and pieces, which includes an ejection seat, uh, the wheels, a boarding ladder. There is a pylon for the East German uh, version. There are some uh, uh, Mars 2 rocket pods for unguided rockets and uh, all the supports for it and there's also a helmet. Um, I did fly to Amo originally and uh, I asked them about this. Uh, there was no reply to, the, to it but uh, I haven't seen, I seen quite a lot of uh, MiG-17, uh, MiG-15 ladders but the top part is uh, never this long I would say. Um, the seat the ejection seat is very nice, but uh, it is surprising that uh, they uh, forgot about the uh, D-ring, the ejection uh, starting firing D-ring, uh, which is present uh, on the plastic part, but uh, somehow uh, it is missing here. It uh, would have been nice to, to have it as a photo edge. They have a helmet included in this set, 
which is a um, ZS uh, 5 helmet. Uh, unfortunately, this is a modern helmet. Uh, for the MiG-17, uh, it's not really authentic. Uh, here is the pylon and also the Mars 2 rocket pod, which is included as a direct 3D printed part. We have the flaps. Uh, Edward produced a um, separate uh, photo edge set. Uh, I have to say that uh, I already been at work on some of the parts uh, from it. Uh, there is one part which is uh, completely out of place and uh, I don't really know why they included it, uh, which is the after part uh, for the co cockpit. It's, uh, this version was used only, only, only in MiG-15. In MiG-17s, the rare part, uh, the flow part of the, uh, of the canopy was, of the moving canopy was different. Uh, you notice that uh, the flaps are missing. I built them uh, already and uh, they have a lot of uh, fine detail on them. I added the, the brake line uh, to them, but uh, just as well you can use the kit part, which is uh, very nice on its own and um, it has a lot of detail. Well, um, this is all for now. Uh, see you next time.